What's up? I'm Susie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to unbox the 21.5 inch iMac. It just came in the mail and I'm so excited to set it up, so let's get started. This is just the standard model. I didn't modify it at all, so if you want all the storage options and memory options that were available, I'll put them here. And then I'll put an overview of all the details about this computer here. Without adding any additional software or customizations, this computer started off at $1,099. I got the 21.5 inch model, but there's also a 27 inch model if you want a gigantic screen. <laughs> All right, let's open it. Keyboard. Yay! <laughs> it's out of the box, looks stunning, and now let's go set this up. Let's first look at everything that came in the box. We have the power cord here. Here's the Magic Mouse 2. Take this out and turn it on. And for a tip, if you have a MacBook or an iPad, you can connect this mouse to those two. I always use a mouse when I'm on my laptop. I just think it's way easier than using the trackpad. And here's the Magic Keyboard. And to turn this on, I'll turn on this switch here. And there's the power cord. And if you're wondering what came in here, some stickers and a wipe for the screen. And to charge the keyboard and the mouse, you would use this cord that came in the box. And you can match the symbol to the symbol on the computer. Plug in this side. And then using this on the top of the keyboard, you can plug in here. And on the mouse, you can plug it in here to charge. You can't really recharge it and use it at the same time. So I like to keep an eye on how much battery it has. It's really easy to check that on the computer and I'll show you how once I turn that on. And you will get a notification if it's running low, which is nice. I do love how there's no need for batteries since I'd much rather recharge this every so often than go out and buy batteries. It has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is a USB-C port, four USB-A ports, an ethernet port, a plug for headphones, and a slot for a memory card. And that's where the power cord will go and the power button. And there's a camera on the front of the computer. It comes with built-in microphones and it tilts. Look how thin that is. You can't even see it. <laughs> That's a desktop computer. That's crazy. Look at that. Now I'll plug in the power cord. Now that it's all plugged in, I will hit the button on the back and turn it on. Big moment. The mouse is already working. All I did was turn the mouse on and now it's working. And since I turned my keyboard on before, it had automatically connected. And now that I've signed in with my Apple ID and password, now it's sending all the information to this computer. Since I had signed into iCloud, what's great about that is now this computer basically mirrors my laptop. And if you want to easily be able to check how much battery life your keyboard has and your mouse has, you can go into system preferences, then choose Bluetooth. And when you get to this screen, Make sure show Bluetooth and menu bar is selected. And now you'll have this icon on the top right menu bar. And when you click it, you can now see the magic keyboard and magic mouse too. And when you hover over them, you can see the battery level. Something I always do whenever I get a new computer is I open up the mouse preferences and I adjust the tracking speed. So if I wanna make the mouse a little bit faster, I can increase it here. It's a little too fast. <laughs> That's good. And then I usually check this box, so every time I click on the right hand side, it's a right click. So I don't have to hold down control and click all the time. Then there's smart zoom that I can enable, and more gestures. I usually have everything clicked. And those are some mouse tips. And the last thing I always do is connect my AirPods. To do that, I will go to the Bluetooth icon here, hover over my AirPods, and hit connect. I'll hold down this button on the back, and a connection request pops up, then I'll hit connect.
Sorry, that was not smooth at all. <laughs> Those are the basics and now I'm all set up. And this is not my first iMac. I got one back in 2009 and only just last year it started slowing down and needed to be replaced. So based on my experience, these computers can last like 10 years. I'm not sure if other people have had the same success with their iMac, but that was my experience and I think that's pretty awesome for a desktop computer. As you can see, I keep buying them, so I think they're great. And if you have an old computer and you don't know what to do with it, I always trade mine into Apple. They have a trade-in program. Basically, if your device is worth anything, they'll give you credit towards your next purchase, and if it's not worth anything, they'll recycle it for free. Even if it's not an Apple product, they can still recycle it most of the time. They'll ask you some information about the device and then they'll email over a shipping label and you can send it over. Definitely remove all of your personal information from your device before you send it in. And Apple has all of those steps on their website and I will link them below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Comment below how long your iMac has lasted. If you've had one, I am very curious to know. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Mm -hmm.